Uh, Lockheed Martin is charting a new course for the future of aerial combat. For decades, the company has defined the cutting edge culminating in the world's only operational fifth-generation stealth aircraft F-22 Raptor F-35 Lightning II. However, recent developments have shifted the landscape of military aviation. The U.S. Air Force selected a new prime contractor, forcing a strategic pivot. Lockheed Martin is championing an alternative to clean sheet designs, transforming its existing fleet by integrating next-generation technologies. Leverage the robust proven globally distributed platform of the F-35 as a foundation for radical evolution. Instead of starting from scratch with a new airframe, Lockheed will pursue ambitious upgrades, enhancements to infuse the F-35 and the F-22 with sixth-generation attributes. Keep these aircraft at the apex of air superiority a continuous evolving deterrent worldwide. Modern Battle Space Software The F-35 is more than a fighter, a flying sensor node and a command and control platform. Enhance core systems to amplify strengths exponentially. This affects the US military and many international partners who operate the F-35. Sixth-gen upgrades offer allies a cost-effective path ensure interoperability and collective security. A significant moment in aerospace history, moving toward continuous, iterative improvement. Modular upgrades let Lockheed rapidly field capabilities respond in near real-time, without a new aircraft type. This approach keeps production lines active, retains a skilled workforce. The primary impetus for Lockheed Martin's strategic shift was a major setback in a landmark competition. The U.S. Air Force's next-generation air dominance program was designed to produce the world's first true sixth-generation fighter. After a prolonged and secretive contest, the Pentagon awarded the coveted contract to Boeing to develop the F-47. This decision was a watershed moment. It broke Lockheed Martin's long-held monopoly as the sole producer of stealth fighters for the United States. For the first time in a generation, a different company would be at the helm of designing America's premier air superiority platform, a role Lockheed had owned with the F-22 F-35. Losing the NGAD contract was more than just a symbolic blow, it carried significant industrial and financial implications. Lockheed Martin's upgrade philosophy is elegantly simple, yet technologically ambitious. The central goal is to deliver a significant portion of the capabilities expected from a brand new sixth generation aircraft, but at a fraction of the cost and time. The company has publicly stated its objective, to provide approximately 80% of the capability of a new design for potentially 50% of the per unit cost. This value proposition is aimed squarely at defense planners who are grappling with tightening budgets and the urgent need to outpace rapidly modernizing adversaries. The plan is not merely about incremental improvements but about a fundamental transformation of the aircraft's core functions. The key to this strategy lies in the modular and software-defined nature of the F-35. The aircraft was designed from the outset with future growth in mind, creating a pathway for integrating new technologies as they mature. A cornerstone of the proposed upgrade package is a revolutionary enhancement of the aircraft's sensory capabilities. The plan is to equip the F-35 with next-generation passive infrared sensors, which will allow pilots to detect and track heat signatures from enemy aircraft and missiles without emitting any radar signals of their own. This is a critical advantage in a modern aerial engagement where staying electronically silent is paramount to survival. Passive detection systems give pilots a first-look advantage enabling them to identify and react to threats long before an adversary is even aware of their presence. This boosts situational awareness and survivability in contested airspace. Beyond passive sensors, the upgrades will include a comprehensive overhaul of the F-35's electronic warfare suite. Advanced EW systems are essential for jamming and deceiving enemy radars disrupting communications. While the F-35 is already a benchmark for stealth technology, the upgrade plan aims to push its low observability even further into the future. Um, a central focus of this effort involves the integration of new materials and advanced coatings that are more effective at absorbing and deflecting radar waves. Stealth is an ever-evolving cat-and-mouse game between aircraft designers and radar engineers. As adversaries develop more sensitive and lower-frequency radars, existing stealth aircraft must be improved to maintain their advantage. These new coatings will not only enhance the F-35's ability to evade detection, but may also be more durable and easier to maintain, reducing life cycle costs. Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works division, the legendary designer of the U-2 and F-117, has decades of expertise in shaping aircraft for minimal observability. This deep knowledge will be applied to refine the F-35's profile, 
ensuring it remains effective against the next generation of air defense systems being developed by potential adversaries. The lethality of a fighter jet is ultimately measured by its ability to deliver ordnance on target effectively. Uh, a key part of Lockheed Martin's upgrade plan involves expanding the F-35's arsenal with longer-range weapons. The development of new, more compact munitions will allow the F-35 to carry more weapons internally. Air-to-air -air munitions, air-to-ground munitions, preserving its stealth profile, increasing its combat persistence, integration of next-generation standoff missiles, engage targets from distances outside enemy air defenses, improving pilot safety, increasing mission flexibility, this lets the F-35 act as a long-range striker, threatening even heavily protected assets. Software is the digital backbone that unlocks the full potential of the hardware. The F-35's capabilities are largely defined by its software. Lockheed has embraced continuous updates, rollout of Block 4 software to the fleet. Perhaps the most futuristic element of the upgrade plan is the integration of capabilities to command and control unmanned aircraft. The U.S. Air Force is heavily investing in the concept of Collaborative Combat Aircraft CCA, semi-autonomous drones loyal wingmen alongside crewed fighters. Lockheed Martin has already demonstrated an F-35 can act as a command node tasking these drones in real time. The sixth-generation upgrades will fully operationalize this capability, turning a single F-35 pilot into the leader of a small network team of robotic aircraft. The financial and industrial arguments for the upgrade strategy are just as compelling as the technological ones. The financial arguments are compelling. The industrial arguments are compelling. Building a completely new sixth-generation fighter from the ground up is a monumental undertaking estimated to cost hundreds of billions of dollars and take 15 to 20 years from concept to operational deployment. In contrast, Lockheed Martin's upgrade proposal promises a much faster and more economical path to enhanced capability. By building on the F-35's existing design and manufacturing infrastructure, the company can avoid the immense upfront costs and developmental risks associated with a clean sheet program. The timeline for delivering these upgrades is significantly compressed. A new aircraft program wouldn't field units until the late 2030s or early 2040s. A block upgrade approach allows for the incremental introduction of new technologies starting much sooner. Capabilities like new sensors software weapons can be rolled out in phases over the next several years. This iterative process gets advanced tools into the hands of warfighters quickly, allowing them to adapt to evolving threats in near real time. From an industrial perspective, the upgrade strategy leverages a mature and highly efficient production ecosystem. The F-35 program supports thousands of jobs across a global supply chain. Recent contracts, such as the $24.3 billion award for nearly 300 new F-35s, demonstrate the continued demand and production momentum. Focusing on upgrades keeps this industrial base active and healthy. In conclusion, Lockheed Martin's strategic pivot toward upgrading its existing fighter fleet represents a pragmatic and powerful vision for the future of air power. Forced by the loss of the NGAD contract, the company has crafted a compelling alternative that emphasizes speed, cost-effectiveness, and the intelligent application of technology. By proposing to integrate sixth-generation sensors, stealth weapons, software, and drone control capabilities into the proven F-35 and F-22 platforms, Lockheed is offering a path to maintain air superiority without the immense cost and decades-long timeline of a new aircraft program. This is a strategy built for the realities of the 21st century security environment. For pilots and military commanders, this approach promises tangible benefits in the near term. Upgrades will deliver superior situational awareness, enhanced survivability, expanded tactical options through human-machine teaming. For allied nations that have invested heavily in the F-35, this strategy provides a clear and affordable path to modernization, ensuring their forces remain interoperable and at the cutting edge of technology. The decision by Boeing to build the F-47 and Lockheed Martin to evolve the F-35 creates a dynamic and complementary future for the U.S. Air Force. This dual approach fosters industrial competition and provides commanders with a broader range of tools to address diverse threats. Ultimately, Lockheed Martin's plan is a clear statement that the future of air dominance is not just about new airframes, but about the network, the software, and the speed of adaptation. By transforming its current fighters into smarter, stealthier, and more connected platforms, the company aims to keep the F-35 relevant and dominant for many years to come. This strategy ensures 
that Lockheed Martin remains at the center of global tactical aviation and provides its customers with a credible, cost-effective, and rapid path to fielding the capabilities needed to win the conflicts of tomorrow.